welcome back to the channel Lola's Beauty Reviews or if you're tuning in on my social media then Lola's Beauty Essentials has got you covered and today well I want to talk about oily skin again as a poll that I set up for the skin type that needs the most help and um Oily skin pops up time and time again for obvious reasons when you have oily skin. I'm going to take this off because I think that the ring light is just confusing things. Um, but you don't know exactly how to control oily skin or what you should be using and things like that. And I thought I'd just come out to explain things as a part two. So here it goes. Now when you have, we talk about oily acne skin. So this is the skin type that has no dry areas, much like mine, not a single dry area here. So it stays having a good oil production to give you like a natural glow. But at the same time, what it can do is produce a lot of breakouts, acne and that type of thing. And there are certain things that you can use in order to prevent that from happening. But it's very important to understand a few things. One of them is that it's hormonal. This is why it's so typical in teenagers, but also why it's typical when you go through menopause, because your hormones are all over the place and that causes things like that to happen, okay? So that's number one. Number two is diet. So your eating habits, what you eat and what you drink literally affects your skin. And that's what the people don't understand. So the more collagen foods you are ingesting and herbal teas and water, it's so good on the skin and it will help the oil production completely. So that's to get that out of the way. Those are huge controlling factors, contributing factors, I should say towards oily skin so once you do have oily skin and you need the proper products how do you go about that number one is cleansing so you you really need to clean your face every day and water and a cloth is not enough so what you want to do is not use your hands because it actually causes extra bacteria because your hands just have so many things like you don't you don't want to do that so what you want to use is facial scrubbies or the facial brushes and what you want to do is put some cleanser on there and use that twice daily to cleanse around your face and your neck super duper important so if you use that in the morning and the evening before bed awesome because there's your cleanser out the way and you have to make sure that it's a gel like cleanser or a bit foamy but not too much foam um things like charcoal infused really helps oil production so that's the actual b for oily skin types um things like tea tree um it's, it's just good i wanted to have an avocado but no no cucumber <laughs> all right so eating foods like greens and that really helps in this case and definitely collagen and vitamin c because citrus is so good on that skin so when you are deciding if you're into toner make sure it's more citrusy more cucumber like than rooibos okay this will help and then for the parts of I don't talk a lot about toner because I don't believe in toner and that's a different talk on its own but I go straight into scrub because exfoliating is the most important part because the more those things just stay on the surface um, the more that the breakouts can come through but if you are exfoliating twice weekly you keep that at bay so I would definitely recommend our charcoal facial scrub or turmeric facial scrub for that purpose to keep it underway notice has got you covered then uh, we talk about masking super important for you to use a specific mask that's going to help you twice weekly and these are things like our mud mask that definitely just draws out that impurities and then also other things like our green tea mask because green tea has that potential as you are with those exfoliant beads bring it out it will control the acne level and soothe your skin and that's the point of what you want so now the last point i'm going to talk about is something that's so confusing to people because if you have an oily skin, the last thing that you think you want to do is put more oil on it. But I'm going to advise our facial oil. And the reason is, the more you are trying to strip your skin from that oil by putting creams on or whatever, the more it's, your skin is telling each other like, okay, I need to produce more oil because there's not enough here. Whereas if you are putting on an oil, what it says is, okay guys, we have enough oil here so we don't need to produce more. Saving you so much time money and everything because it's just going to soothe and stay in the skin and keep it hydrated but not causing extra breakouts at the same time we also have now a blend available here at lola speed essentials where it's specific to for breakouts so if you have that pimple and that you need to apply that and it will help to bring it out the next day these are all things that will help but remember those contributing factors as well and give me a shout or go order directly for your goods that i know is going to help you for your benefit and purpose as someone with oily skin and been treating it amazingly since the age of 13 being put on a skincare routine and being fully qualified in this i know more than the thing or two that's able to help you from what you should avoid and what you should be going for so definitely connect with me to learn more. Thank you. See you next week for something educational too.